Hey, what is up, YouTube? Here's Twan again, and today I have a very special kind of video for you guys. I purchased many, many Pokemon cards from Japan, and these are the cards as you can see. I'm super, super excited to show them to you guys what they are. These cards are all for my collection, my personal collection, and yeah, let's get right into it. The first card is the Milotic V from the newest set, Rebellion Crash. And I absolutely love this card. I mean, look at the texture of this card. It is so, so beautiful. And uh, honestly, I think this Milotic um, or this Milotic is um, my favorite card out of the set. It has hands down the best design or artwork in my opinion let's take a close look really really beautiful card in my opinion all right let's continue next with intellion v also one of my favorite cards from the newer set um what i love about this card is that the texture in the background consists of hexagons and it makes this card look really really clean really really nice card next up my favorite card out of the dream league set the reshiram and zekrom tag team gx card with an in hyper rare it is very beautiful i like the black and the white uh, accent on this card the texture is insane guys wow really really lovely card Next up, also one of my favorite cards of the set. I'm not really sure if uh, the English version version also have the same textures as the Japanese version. But one thing about the Vile Plume and Erika GX card is um, the shade turning more bluish and the flower pattern, the texture. I, I hope you can see it. It's a little bit harder to see in this light, but have right here a few flower patterns that open up when you move the card and I think that's really really beautiful okay next up one of my favorite cards of um, the new set rebellion crash this is toxtricity v max uh, the g max form and during the day you cannot see the texture as well as uh, when light is lit on the card and just look at this card. It is insane. Usually you, you only see the card like this during the day, but when you look at this, when you look at the card from this angle, it is so, so insane. Really, really nice card. Next up, we have one of my favorite ghost Pokemon, Mimikyu GX. A really, really lovely card and also here as well we have the zigzag textures focusing on the Mimikyu for you guys if you don't know Mimikyu is a ghost Pokemon and this is Mimikyu inside of this piece of Pikachu cloth really really nice card this card is from the set oh I'm not sure I think it's uh, fairy rice not quite sure though Next up, also a very, very lovely card in my opinion from the uh, set Tech All-Stars. It is this EV GX. And as you can see in the background, we have so many heart, um, heart shaped hearts. <laughs> we have so many heart textures. And we also have a circular texture around this card. And yeah. That makes this card look very, very nice, very cute card. I think this is a must have for every Eevee lover or Eevee fan. Really, really love this card. Okay, let's continue on with Tech All Stars. Next up, we have the gold hyper rare or ultra rare version of um, Pikachu and Zagrom Tech Team GX. Really, really insane looking card. We have so much going on with the texture of the card 
and yeah Pikachu is looking like a boss sitting on Zekrom's arm number 221 out of 173 like I said I really love this card um, if you want to know where you can buy this card it's on eBay for I think around 30 to 40 euros really lovely card next up we have one of my favorite cards out of the sets everyone knows the hyper rare uh, Charizard and Reshiram GX but the gold version is in my opinion much much better I really like the blue and the uh, red accent on this card and also here the textures are insane really really nice card then we have a uh, Garchomp and a Giratina GX the gold version also really really nice card this card is a little bit cheaper I don't know why it's still a gold card but I think you can get this card for around 20 euros and also here the texture game of the Japanese Pokemon cards is insane really like this card next up we have Venusaur and Snivy from the set Remix Bout lovely card um, not too much texture going on but still a very nice card to have in my opinion then we have a very weird duo in my opinion Magikarp and Waylor with a massive whopping 300 HP I mean I just got it because I'm a collector so <laughs> nice cut nonetheless then we have the Ladi twins Ladias and Ladios and this card is looking super super clean in my opinion the texture is very nice really really love this card next up my favorite legendary dog Pokemon Suicune from the set Super Burst Impact. I really love the set. It also has Lugia GX and the Suicune. And the texture is also very, very insane here. We have the swirly pattern here. Very, very nice. Then we have uh, God of War and Sylveon GX. Also a very nice card a little bit more expensive I think it's around 20 to 25 euros and also the texture here is insane God of War is one of my favorite Pokemon and Sylveon is also very cute uh, this is from the Night Unison set I guess I'm not quite sure but I think it is then we have uh, Garchomp and Giratina the regular Hyper Rare version also a very nice looking card. I had to get both because I really love Garchomp. It's also one of my favorite Pokemon. So yeah. Then we have my two favorite ghost Pokemon on one card, Mimikyu and Gengar. This card is absolutely insane. I love this card. Really, really glad that Pokemon made Gengar and Mimikyu on one Pokemon card. I love this card it's so cool then we have two very cute Raichus the Alolan one and the regular one um, yeah it's a very cute card that's why I got it I don't know I think it's from the same set as the Garchomp Giratina I think it's called GG and but yeah super super nice card then we have the card that started it all <laughs> the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom GX card in Hyper Rare from the first tech team set, Tech Bolt. Very, very nice card. I love it. The texture on here is also super, super nice. One of my favorite tech team GX cards. Then we have my favorite legendary Pokemon, Lugia GX. Oh man, this card is so, so nice. I really like the texture on this card. Also from the same set as Suicune. Oh, I, I, I did not pull this card. So yeah, I just bought this. 
I know, I know, it's not, it's not, uh, I guess, the right way to do it, but it's much more cheaper than busting open <laughs> booster boxes and not pulling the cards. So, so you also have to consider that. I mean, if you're buying five booster boxes and not getting the Hyper Rare Lugia, I would just buy the bullet and buy the card. I mean, it's much, much cheaper. And then from Tech All-Stars, we have Deoxys and Espeon GX. Really, really lovely card. Then we have Ampharos and I, I like Ampharos. Not my favorite Pokemon, but the reason why I bought this card is also the texture. I mean, it's insane. Really, really nice. Next up, we have Shuckle. Also, really, really nice Pokemon. Very cute. And the texture game is also on point on this card. Then we have Blastoise and Piplup from the set Remix bout. Also, very, very lovely card. Piplup is one of my favorite water starter Pokemon. It is tied with Mudkip. I love Mudkip and I love Piplup. It's very hard to decide which one is my favorite. But Piplup is right, right up there. Then we have a very cute duo from the Tech Bolt set. Snorlax and Eevee. Very, very nice and cute looking card. I love it. Alright, next up we have my favorite evolution, Umbreon with Darkrai from the, tet, uh, from the set Tech All-Stars. Really, really nice card. Oh man. Then we have Lucario and Mel Metal GX from the set Full Metal Wall. Also very, very nice card and very well textured in the background. I love it. Next up, we have the most popular Pokemon. Attend uh, according to Google search results, it is Greninja. The texture on this card is also very, very nice. Following up, we have Greninja in Zorar GX. Also very, very nice card. The main card of the set, Knight Unison. I did not open any Knight Unison booster boxes, so yeah, I just bought this card from the set. Then we have Latios GX, and I think you guys can guess why I bought this card. The texture on this card is also very, very nice. I really love the squares. Next up we have Slowpoke and Psyduck. Also love the flower pattern on this card. It is a very weird combination, but I think they're pretty cute together. Then we have an angry Jumpluff with Mega Lopunny. Very nice duo. I love this card. It looks really, really nice. Next up we have the wishing Pokemon Jirachi. Also from the set Tech All-Stars. It is a very lovely card. I also like Jirachi. Then we have Mel Metal, the Rainbow Rare version. <sighs> Mel Metal is not one of my favorite Pokemon, but I mean, once you start collecting, you have to get everything. That's why I got Mel Metal. Next up, we have Cleffa, Iglybuff, and Togepi GX. Very, very nice card. I love it. And we have so many different patterns in the background. We have hearts, we have uh, we have hearts, we have stars, what is that? It's a square, a triangle, very, very lovely card. And next up we have Solgaleo and Lunala GX with Lily, also one of my favorite cards of the set Dream League. The set is so, so insane. We have so many cool cards in there. Full arts, character rares, hyper rares. I really, really love the set Dream League. Then. We have Lily's brother, Gladio, with Silvelli GX. Also a very nice card. And the textures on here are also very, very nice. Next up, we have the Rainbow Rare version of Melamar, the Melamar VMAX. Like Metal Metal, I'm not a Melamar fan, but 
I just had to get him. He is pretty cheap. You can get him for around 10 euros. Very, very nice card. Then we have Oleana. Yeah, uh, same reason as Melamar. Next up, we have my favorite card of the VMAX Rising set, Sonia. I was lucky enough to pull the um, full art version. And the hyper rare version is also very nice. And the, I don't know how you call these things in the background. The pattern in the background is also very, very nice. Then we have Cinder Ace VMAX in hyper rare. Very, very nice. Kicking its stone or pyro ball. And my favorite fire starter pokemon from sword and shield my favorite fire starter pokemon <laughs> my favorite starter pokemon from sword and shield <laughs> then we have intellion vmax also a very nicely textured card and very very cool pokemon my second favorite starter pokemon from sword and shield and then we have a full art nine tails v also very nice card very very lovely I was not lucky enough to pull um, nine tails that's why I got this card and then we have Rillaboom V the full art version also a very nice card in my opinion and last but not least I have Oleana in full art All right, that was my unboxing video. I have more cards coming in soon and I'll do another unboxing video if you guys like this style of video. All right, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy and see you next time. Peace.